Dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading of today, we see how God is lamenting. God is lamenting because the people of Israel have forsaken their living God and they have made God's now out of their hands and worshipped. And sometimes this can happen to you and me. No, not necessarily be false gods, but sometimes the desires that we have can become our God. The money, the craving for money that we have can become our gods. Our craving for unhealthy relationships can become God. And God is a zealous God because He will not allow His place to be taken by anyone. And the whole purpose that He created, you and me, is that we belong to Him, that we share in His divine life. And that's the reason He sent His Son, Jesus, you know, so that whoever believes in Me might not perish but have eternal life. And in today's Gospel also we see Jesus performing a, a miracle or an exorcism. There's this dim man who's possessed, who's been mute, and Jesus, you know, makes him speak. They marvel at him, but at the same time, they don't believe in him. You know, they marvel at him in saying that, you know, he's healed this demonic, but at the same time, they're afraid, they're not willing to, to believe in him. And so, what do they say? They say that, you know, he is, he is casting out demons by the power of demons, you know. But demon cannot be against demons because, you know, where there is division, there is no love, there is no harmony. And above all, today's gospel ends saying that the harvest is plentiful but the labors are, laborers are few. And therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his, heart, his harvest. And this is the cry of the church at this millennium, you know, where vocations are declining. If there are no vocations, if there are no priests, there are no sacraments. And if there is no sacraments, then there are no Christian lives. And so we need to pray earnestly, as Jesus said, for vocation. Vocation not just for priesthood, even marriage is a vocation. Today young people are afraid also to get married. That's the reason you have live in the relationship. Time is not too far, it will come to India also, where people don't want to get married, they want to live together, and if things don't work, they want to separate. But even marriage is a vocation. And so let's pray, let's pray for vocation to priesthood, to religious life and to marriage. So, men, Mary, the star of evangelization, and St. Joseph, through their prayers, now obtain for us, for our church vocations. Amen.